Okay, this is my um, my outbuilding, my horse barn. Um, and what I've done is I've rigged up some solar power. I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm using a small, if you look between the two slats, there's a solar panel there. I'll show you that from the outside in a minute. The wire goes over top of that secured uh, door. A door can't roll back. I've got it bolted shut with some lag bolts. This is my solar charge regulator. It's a seven amp, 100 watt maximum. This is my load side. This is what the LED lights are connected to. Here I have um, my solar panel coming in into the regulator. And the regulator is very important because it regulates the amount of power going from the panel into the battery. So you're not overcharging your um, deep cycle battery. This is the clamps coming from the regulator to the battery itself. And this is what's actually charging the battery. So if it gets too full, if the battery gets, it won't overcharge it. So that'll save your battery. Um, I also have a power inverter to 750 watt DC to AC. Um, I picked this up a few years ago and all I did was had to replace one of the fuses there. And it's got two 110 outlets here. So I can just take these off. And you want to be careful with these. Make sure that it's secured. It's not coming off there. All right, so let's try our inverter there. We turned it on and it's gonna flash red and it's building up power now. Okay, now it's ready. So I've got this plugged into the bottom part. We're gonna turn that on and there's your 110 solar power. This is a real basic, simple system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn on the LED lights now. I have a basic power switch hooked up to the LEDs. If you look overhead, I have some tubing and that was left over from a job. Um, and you'll see the little bands on them and they have those LED strip lights. And there you go. So even if I turn out the bright light, um, the 110 here, Turn that off. We'll go ahead and disconnect that. You want to leave this disconnected unless you're using it. And this will provide us with plenty of light. Now these LEDs here will burn for about nine days straight on this one charge of the battery. So this is the LED strip lights I've used. Um, these are the weatherproof style. They have one power end on them. And there's videos on how to put more ends and you can cut this off about every third light there as you can see. See that little copper space right there. Every third light you can cut this and put splicers on there and rejoin these. $9 on Amazon.